Three ways to determine which obstacles are worth your time. Obstacles are a great way to challenge yourself and grow as a person. Even though they can be stressful at times, obstacles really are essential for growing and thriving as a human being. Still, not all obstacles are worth our time. For example, some are literally impossible to overcome, while others simply aren't worth it. How do you determine which obstacles are worth your time, though? After all, some obstacles are absolutely necessary, but others are downright destructive. In this tutorial, I'm going to answer just that. Let's take a look at three ways to determine which obstacles are worth your time. 1. Look at the facts. Whenever an obstacle comes your way, the first thing you should do is look at the facts. This will quickly tell you whether an obstacle is worth your time. The facts include any relevant information that is true and not related to your emotions. For example, legal implications, requirements, or hard statistics all include facts of the obstacle. Take, for instance, that the obstacle in front of you is getting your degree. The facts related to this obstacle include financial requirements, class requirements, etc. Consider all of these facts to determine whether or not getting your degree is worth it. In the instance of your degree, the obstacle will likely be worth it. There are instances when you will find that not to be the case, though. For example, joining a cult may not be worth it if it involves giving up your financial independence. 2. Consider your emotions. In addition to the facts, consider your emotions. Though you need to keep your emotions and the facts separate, you certainly shouldn't ignore it either. Your emotions play a heavy role in your life. Ignoring them will likely cause you to make the wrong decision or pursue an obstacle that's not worth it. For example, let's say that your partner has taken a job across the country. Your options are to move with them, break up, or stay in a long-distance relationship. In this obstacle, it's important to evaluate how you feel about every option. For many people, moving or being in a long-distance relationship is not emotionally worth it. Even if the facts allow either option to play out, your emotions may tell you that it's time to break up. Listen to your emotions to see if things are emotionally worth your time. 3. Look for alternatives. Finally, the third way to determine if an obstacle is worth it is to look for alternatives. In other words, is there a simpler solution than the one you're pursuing? If so, definitely go with a simpler solution if it accomplishes the same task. For example, let's say you want to have a higher income. You come to the conclusion that the only way to get a higher income is to get a better job, but you don't have any degree or experience. Like most people, you assume you need to get a college degree, but you actually aren't interested in going to college in and of itself. The obstacle may seem surmountable. Instead, you should probably look at trade school because it accomplishes the same task, but it isn't as demanding as a four-year degree. Conclusion Once again, you shouldn't shy away from obstacles simply because they scare you. Still, there are instances when you should choose to let go of an obstacle if it is impossible to achieve or emotionally taxing. Considering the facts, your emotions, and alternative solutions is the best way to determine if an obstacle is worth your time. Don't be afraid to let go if the obstacle isn't worth it. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.